Yes. See children, we have completed this lesson, true wealth. So we have learnt what is real wealth and what is important in our life. So this uh, our other uh, rich man has taken his son to the village and uh, in the town to the how the poor they are and how they rich are. So the, he wanted to show and at last how his son has given the answer. We have learned this lesson. So now it's a time to answer these questions. So see the question answers. So now answer the following first question: Who lived in a big town? Who lived in a big town? Who are living here? Yes. So a very rich and a wealthy man lived in a big town. A very rich and wealthy man lived in a big town. A very well rich and wealthy man lived in a big town. Right. And this is the second question. Describe the qualities of the rich man. Describe the qualities of the rich man. So what are the qualities of the rich man? The rich man had all wealth and led a luxurious life. The rich man had all wealth and the luxurious life, right? And he had every luxury and a good, a good effort to feed for the entire people of his town. How much luxury he had? He had every luxury and a good effort to feed for the entire people of his town. Entire people of his town. But what he's saying, he always says, he always boasted his luxurious life to his friends and relatives. Always he says about his luxury life to them. So that those are the qualities of him. So once again I'm repeating that the rich man had all wealth and led a luxurious life. He had every luxury and good effort to feed for the entire people of the town. Entire people of the town. And he always boasted his luxurious life to his friends and relatives. To his friends and relatives, right? So these are the qualities he expressed. And what is the next question? See, describe the qualities of the rich man's son. Describe the qualities of the rich man's son. What kind of qualities he has? Yes, the rich man's son was simple. He was not at all interested in luxury's life, right? So, the rich man's son was simple and a kind person. And he was not interested in luxury. The rich man's son was simple and kind person. And he was not at all interested in luxury's life, right? And next one, see the fourth question. What does, uh, what did the rich man want to make his son? What did the rich man wanted to make his son? The rich man wanted to make his son that his lifestyle was extremely rich and how the poor people suffered. So wanted to make, how, how did, what did the rich man want to make his son? So what he wanted to make it? So the rich man wanted to make his son, wanted to show his son especially here. So the wanted to show his son that his lifestyle was extremely rich and how the poor people suffered. That he wanted to show him. Make means show. Right. And see the next question. What was the reply to the rich man's son? What was the reply to the rich man's son? The rich man's son replied by stating the difference between the rich and the poor people with examples. So the rich man's son replied by stating the difference between the rich and the poor with examples. With examples means they have four, ten dogs but we have only four dogs, two dogs. Big pool, uh, we have big pool, but they have no uh, pool without any endings. Like there's so many difference, he said, right? So those we can see in this. And see the last question, what is the moral of the story? What is the moral of the story? Yes, the moral of the story is that true wealth is not measured by money and property we have. True wealth is not measured by money and property we have, but it is in the friendship, relationship and good compassion 
we share with the others we share with the others how we share with the others in the only we have proven but not in the money and property that he said so these are the question answers we have in this lesson true wealth yes see children so we have understood the lesson true wealth very proper right so we are coming to the question answers now you can see this fill in the blanks using clue kit so here yes if clue kit they have given clue kit means what yes whatever suitable answers they give it here that we should write it in the blanks so what are these clue kit you see chariot visit sun rich man tom so five words they have given those five words are suitable in these five sentences where those are possible that we should write see the first one a rich man and a wealthy man lived in a big where did they live yes they lived in a big town he lives in a big town right and see the next one dash the dash always posted his luxury life who posted his uh, who posted the luxury life yes the rich man always posted the is a luxury life and the dash was not fond of luxury life who was not fond of luxury life yes father is posted his life but the son is not fond of so the son was not fond of luxury life and the rich man planned for a the rich man planned for a visit so visit the tour by town for two days he planned right yes the father and the son took a yes what did he take what did they take to go to the wait to visit yes they took chariot they took chariot right so the rich man and wealthy man the rich and wealthy man lived in a big town the rich man always boasted his luxury life the son was not fond of luxury life the rich man planned for a visit the father and the son took a chariot right so these are the clue kit we have to write in the fill in the blanks so these are the answers yes see children so here we have complete the following works so complete the following works means they missed some letters that here they have given whatever the suitable letter that we should supply in the given words now see the first one dash e a l t h dash e a l t h so what is this yes wealth so w e a l t h wealth money w e a l t h next one second one dash u x u r i o u s what is this luxuries l u x u o r i o u s l u x u r i o u s luxuries not luxurious luxuries it is and this is the third one dash o a s t what do we write yes boast b o a s t boast b o a s t boast next one dash a c a t i o n so that sun come for vacation v a c a t i o n vacation and next one dash h a r i o t yes what did they take they took chariot c h a r i o t chariot next dash e t u r n yes they returned r e t u r n e d return after two days right next one dash o n o u r yes that is on h o n o u r next one dash a c i l i t i e s yes what is this facilities he provide yeah f a c i l i t i e s facilities next one dash e a l i z e what is that who realized so that father realized r e a l i z e d realize next one dash b u n d a n d yes let's left over only one letter abandoned a b u n d a n t well luxuries boast vacation chariot 
return on a facilities realize abundant so these are the words from our lesson now see the second one next one write the opposites for the following words write the opposites for the following words opposites so here rich rich opposite word yes what do we need rich opposite poor rich opposite poor we need big opposite small big small friend opposite yes very good enemy and father opposite no that's mother is not correct father opposite child father mother that is male female uh, genders but father opposite word child and next one happy happy opposite word yes unhappy happy opposite word unhappy right rich poor big small friend enemy father child happy unhappy so these are the opposites from this lesson yes rhyming words here we have and listen to me clear uh, listen here clearly and color the bricks which you have uh, you felt that is which are similar rhyming words i hope all of you know that you can remember rhyming words no yes rhyming words means word ending similar sound we should get it so which two words are getting same sound in the ending that is called rhyming word now see this one i am reading it loudly health wealth health wealth both are getting the same sound in the last that's why those two are the rhyming rhyming words so give same color to those words but next one if you see ghost boast ghost boast these two also are also giving same sounds so that's why give another color for these two boxes next one vacation vocation vacation vocation so for these also shun shun sounds we are getting last give same color to these two and next one parrot chat parrot chat so these are also giving last two similar sound that's why give one color to this and next one manage relax manage relax so these also giving same sound ja sounds that's why give some same color to these words yes see children so here we have question words question words what do we have who what where when why which right so just now we complete the sentences what they have given now fill in the blanks so these words we should use in this so what do we get that we can see in this one by one see the sentence so dash is your telephone number so if we ask any one telephone number means what do we ask yes what is your telephone number what is your telephone number right and see the next one dash fruit do you like so how can we ask yes that is which fruit do you like which fruit do you like next one dash does the sun rise so that is the time we are asking means we should write when it is so when does the sun rise when does the sun rise and next one dash teaches you english so some person it is that's why we should ask who who teaches you english and see the next one dash do you live so live means some place please if you are getting we should ask question where so then we should write where do you live we should write the question where do you live and dash were you late so the reason we are asking reason we are asking is we should use the question why so why were you late why were you late so see this what's your telephone number which fruit do you like when does the sun rise who teaches you english where do you live and why were you late so right so for everything wh questions we call it this wh questions some reasons now see that one so dash book are you buying dash book are you buying so particular something what is that so that's why which specified means here we should write which book are you buying next one dash did the teacher punish him so reason we are asking that's why we should go for why did the teacher why did the teacher punish him 
Next, dash cooks your food. Yes, the person it related. That's, that's what we should write. Yes, who cooks your food? Who cooks your food? Next, dash will the train come. So, time it is. Time indication means we should write. Yes, when will the train come? When will the train come? Next one, dash are my books. So, please we are asking. That's why we should write. Where are my books. We should write where are my books. We should ask. And dash are you learning? So that particular one we are asking. That's why we should write what are you learning? What are you learning? So this again. Which book are you buying? Why did the teacher punish him? Who cooks your food? And when will the train come? Where are my books? And last one, what are you learning? So like this, based on the reason, question, everything, we should make the proper questions. Yes, see children, so we have, it's a true friend. That's why about the friendship. Here we have a story. So they have given the picture. So by seeing that picture, we should write the story. So see the question? Look at the picture and write the story based on the picture. So here they get the picture. Based on the pictures, we should write the story. So what can you see in this picture? First you can see that, yes, a tortoise and hair. You have idea about this story? Yes, once you try to, by seeing the picture, you try to write the sentence. Now I am telling this story, so you know, copy it down. So what is that first? Here we can write about this story. Once there lived a hare and a tortoise. Once there lived a hare and a tortoise. Once there lived a hare and a tortoise. Right? Here two are there, two animals, hare and tortoise. And the tortoise was, how it is? Slow worker. The tortoise was slow worker. It can't run. But the rabbit or hare can walk and run very fast. You know this. So tortoise goes very slowly and run. This rabbit runs very fast. Right? So these two, if they compete, what happens? That we can see in this story. So one day the rabbit want to the rabbit wants to prove itself as fast as a fastest runner. So rabbit generally is the fastest runner. So it wanted to prove. So, so the rabbit wants to prove how it was very fastest runner. So uh, one day the rabbit wants to prove itself as the fastest runner. As the fastest runner. And it arranged a running competition between them. Who are those two? Rabbit and tortoise. It was arranged a running competition between them. Both of them started to run. But see, can you imagine? Who can win? That rabbit can run very fast. So obviously, rabbit only wins. But what happened, we can see till the end. So, and the rabbit started to run. After some time, the hare, that is the rabbit, felt very much tired and thought that it can wake that it can wake up and reach the spot before the tortoise can reach and it thought like that so before the tortoise reach so before that I can sleep and I can wake up and I can go like that it thought and slept under the tree it felt tired that's why it wanted to take rest. And then the tortoise walks very slowly now. So definitely I can sleep and I can get up and again I can run. Definitely I only will win. Like that it thought. And it, it slept. And the tortoise though felt tired didn't stop before the tortoise. Didn't take rest. So even the tortoise also felt tired. But it didn't stop. It continued it running and walking. So goes on moving fast in order to win the competition. So competition if you have means any condition we should continue till the end. Even tortoise also knows it cannot run as fast as a rabbit. But still it continued, right? So it continued but it didn't take any rest. It continued to walk till in the competition. Finally the tortoise reached the uh, spot. So they kept the one spot. So tortoise reached. But what about rabbit? Hare. So the hare woke up and saw that the tortoise reached 
before the before him and felt ashamed of it. So embarrassed, ashamed, feel shame feeling. So shame feeling it felt. So and the moral of the story of it is what is the moral of the story? Slow and steady wins the race. Slow and steady wins the race. If any time we feel overcome, overconfidence, yes, I can do, I only the best. Like that, if we feel it, the next person definitely will cross us. So, whatever we are doing, yes, I am doing, I should do, like that we should think. Even if it is difficult also, we should continue the work till we get the success. Here, Tata is before it knows that it cannot run as fast as rap. But still it continued. At last it got the success. Right. So we should remember the main important sentence here. Slow and steady wins the race. Slow and steady wins the race. Right. So now say this. Increase, uh, say, this say children that you, uh, how to help the poor people and what kind of life they are leading. For that they have given the questions here, we can see that is what is this, what is poverty, poverty means what is that, they have lack of food and lack of money like this, so what kind of problems do poor people have, so what kind of problems they have, so they have no money to buy all the things, that is they don't have proper food, clothes, or else houses like this, right, uh, why are people hungry, because they have no proper food with them. So they, those are very costly and they cannot buy it also. So do you feel sorry for people who live in the street? Yes, obviously. We feel so sorry for them because some people, they have no shelter to live in a particular house. So that's why they live in the streets only. Are people who live in the street necessarily lazy? So really are they lazy means some people may be lazy, but can we say all are lazy means it's not a so they are. Yes. Do you, do you believe that the rich are growing richer and the poor are growing poor? Do you feel rich are growing richer? Yes. Nowadays the rich people are growing rich and poor people are still the same poor only. So they become much poorer also. And shouldn't all people work for a living? They are working. All are working for living. But some people are depending, some people are de uh, depending on the uh, people who are working for living. And will there always be poverty in the world? Yes, nowadays in the total world we have poverty. And see children, next pick the odd one out. So here they have given set of words. In that we should pick the odd one. So boy, girl, man, woman, dog. So among all these, which one are as the odd one? Boy, gender, girl, man, woman. All these are members. But a dog is an. So we can take the different one is yes, dog. And see next one, baby, kid, child, toddler, boy. Baby, small kid, kid, child, toddler. All are five years, seven years, big. but boy means ten years, twelve years, like the biggest. So that's why boy is different. So odd one. So circle that one. And joy, happy, glad, merry, run. So joy, happy, glad, merry. All these are feelings. But run is the work. That's why run is odd one. And next one see palace, king, queen, princess, old. Palace, king, queen, princess, old. So these first four are the related to king's court and all this. But old is not related to that. That is Egypt. So old is odd one. Understood children? So see the next one you have. A collection of pictures they have given here. About the carts and different types of cart. A cart horses. So seeing that you prepare that. Do the project work. Each card you write the sentences on each card. Few sentences on a Two two sentences for each one. How they are. Understood children? So this is our first lesson. True wealth. True wealth. And I read the, go through this lesson once again. And after that attempt the exam. Online exam on this lesson also. I wish you all success.